Hello, welcome to JT Hughes Honda website. My name is Harvey. Today I have for you a new shape Jazz. Uh, this one is pre-registered, so um, one keeper in the book, uh, which is a JT Hughes company, uh, and delivery miles only. But for that reason, you can save yourself a substantial amount of money on this car. Um, Dare to be a little bit bolder, this one is finished in sunset orange. Um, it is the SE model, so middle of the range, but by no means middle of the range spec. Uh, as you will see, little bright LED uh, daytime running lights. It's got front park sensors as well. Stylish twin spoke alloy wheels. Good sized door mirrors with high visibility side indicators. Uh, they are what's called flip-flop mirrors, uh, so they will power fold back. But if somebody accidentally walks the wrong way into the mirror, they will just fold forward like that without doing any damage. That's it back in position. The Jazz is the big little car. Uh, plenty of room inside and outside. Plenty of headroom, plenty of legroom. Uh, and now comes, this is a 1.3 uh, petrol engine with a six speed manual gearbox. The Jazz, as I said, look at that rear leg and headroom. Fabulous. What's more, a car feature that sells this car, the Honda Magic Seats. I've just locked it in position and you can see floor to ceiling load space there. And you can do that with the other seat, so right across the car. And how easy is that for a perfectly flat load space area there almost van like when they're both down and that's how easy it is to do that so just getting into the tailgate you will see how generous that uh, load space area is for a small car 60 40 split rear seats um, and i said it wasn't short of spec rear park sensors also just getting into the cabin Here we have all round electric windows. The driver one is automatic or one touch. Uh, safety switches for the doors and the windows. And there we have the uh, buttons for the operation of those door mirrors, which is left and right. Uh, internal power fall back. So there you go, just coming in and going out. And they are also heated for the winter months. Uh, right down there, what, what do we got? Four switches. Um, first one um, on the left side is the vehicle stability assist, which uh, does exactly what it says on the tin. So it helps keep your vehicle more stable in tricky conditions. Uh, park sensors, you can switch those on and off. The next one, uh, this car benefits from um, lane departure warning. So there is a symbol of a car leaving a lane. If you do not indicate, the car will let you know that you're wandering across that white line. And the other one is obviously a headlight adjuster. Steering wheel, one, two, three, four, lots of switches on this. So we've got the top one. Uh, that is the one for your cruise control and your speed limiter. So you would just put it on. And there on the dashboard at the top uh, is a little symbol of a, a speedometer. Uh, if I flick it once, it goes to speed limiter. And then again, uh, you will see limiter with a little lollipop, which is actually a speed sign. So this car has the facility to read speed cameras uh, and allow you to uh, set the speed limit to whatever that speed camera uh, displays on the screen. Uh, all clever stuff. Uh, on this side, your um, Bluetooth telephone, um, very easy to operate, make a call, end a call, and the voice tag at the bottom, um, if you put a, a name next to a number uh, and you record that, then all you would do here is flick that and the car will ask you who you want to ring and you will just use the ET adage of uh, phone home and it will phone home for you. Um, at the top, there we go, that is mainly your audio. Uh, controls uh, down here is your twin information computer so you can see the select button there you can whiz through A or B uh, and uh, display all the features uh, with the little I button there uh, right okay auto wipers yes auto wipers as well and auto headlights and also auto main beam 
uh, so yes this car has the facility as long as it's on auto wipers uh, auto headlights sorry then um, it will in the dark put on your main beam if it's uh, safe to do so uh, there is cameras uh, up above that will detect a car coming towards you so it will turn it off and then put it back on when that car has passed so then into the middle uh, the screen here is um, internet connected uh, if you've got uh, Wi-Fi anywhere uh, it does do your phone as you can see and all your audio and there we go we'll just press that and that will bring up the apps page there you will see the internet browser um, not certain whether it will pick anything up here but there we go yes straight to Google it's obviously picking up the dealership Wi-Fi so if you're in um, within Wi-Fi distance um, of anyone who offers free Wi-Fi then you can get it on the car just go back to the menu there we go um, air conditioning again as you would expect standard on this car and also heated rear screen and that's the button that puts the heat into the door mirrors uh, down below there you've got an HDMI lead uh, a USB connection and a 12 volt power point and indeed in there for the rear passengers yet another USB connection as I said before six-speed manual box um, very economical is the jazz uh, just been chatting to a customer who is averaging over 56 miles per gallon out of this petrol so yeah good practical small with a large inside um, car come and drive this car come and talk to us about how you can afford to buy it um, you will not be disappointed sold with the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty which is just short of three years uh, and three years roadside cover as well my name is Harvey please give me a call or my colleagues here at Telford uh, Adam and Oliver